Okay, I'm going to show everybody real quick uh, the next step in the experiment. And uh, most people probably won't get this, but that's okay. I'm going to show you. Oh, that's not it. I'm taking the piston. This is the same piston that I showed me and demonstrated in the other videos. Now, when I do this, it's uh, the initial force is about 12 and a half, 13 pounds that my trigger finger is pulling. And then it only has to apply that force for a sh very short distance. And then it sharply drops off. So your trigger finger is actually pretty strong. A lot stronger than you realize it. And so we can do this all day long. Now, whenever I put it on this apparatus here, is what I'm going to demonstrate. Now, it's actually, you can see, it's actually, it's actually a little bit harder to do that with my arm than it is just for me to do the trick. So three times that, over three times amplification of gain. But what this is is a series of magnets and that is to offset the resistance of the trigger magnet. So in this way, this is a lot smoother, a lot easier if it, those magnets aren't used to offset the source. So it's actually very, I'm barely applying any force to this. So it's a lot, even a lot less force from when I was using it with just my finger and the direct trip magnet because all of these magnets, which are repelling each other, they're used to offset the force for me to pull. So that's a very important experiment and that proves that the trigger magnet itself can be offset. Now whenever I put a load on it, it's going to be even harder for me to pull it. And that's because the logarithmic curve is uh, much more shallow. It's not going to be, it's not going to drop off nearly as quickly, but I can still offset that. That's what I'm going to show you next. Let me show you the magnet piston with the load placed on it. See there's 10 pounds of weight. I have someone stabilizing the piston rod. Now I have 10 pounds on the permanent magnet piston. So there's a good load on there. And you can see, now when I push this in, the, the, the trigger magnet is not counterbalanced. And you can see, there's actually a pretty good bit of force that I need to pull it out. And even if it's counterbalanced the way it was before, it's lessened, but there's still a pretty good force. So what I can do is increase, and if I can get these magnets off here, can increase the amount that the trigger magnet is counterbalanced. And that very effectively, I can adjust it by adjusting the screw. Very easy to put it together and pull it apart. It's very well counterbalanced. It's getting hardly any effort to put them together and take them apart. Alright. That's the end of the demonstration. And what that means in the end is that it, uh, these experiments that I just showed you in this video, they prove experimentally that the permanent magnet engine will work. 
and that the trigger magnet can be successfully counterbalanced even when a load, the full load, is placed on the piston.